Work done for unit. <laughs> Work done for unit time is power. So, like I said, so let's say, so we can also say that if it is a machine, right, which machine will be more powerful? If it does more work in less time. Anybody who is capable of doing more work in less time is more powerful. Okay. So, who does work? Humans and machine. Right. Both, both are doing work. So, who is powerful? The one who is capable or able to do more work in less time. Is it understood? Okay. The other way to look at it is, it is the energy consumed. Energy consumed. For unit time. Because work and energy is same thing, right? Yeah. Who does work? Energy. energy. Right? So, work and energy are same thing. So, power can also be defined like this. Okay, so let's discuss the unit of power. So, unit of power is what? Unit of energy or work is joule. Joule, joule, and second. Okay, so how do we define one watt? So, one watt, what is the power? So, any machine, uh, so a, a machine will be a machine will be said to have a power of one fat if it consumes one joule of energy in one second. So everybody understood? So everything is very simple, right? Okay. So uh, mathematically, it is very simple. In English, you have to write two, three lines, right? So but if you understand this, writing or converting it into English is very simple. Okay. Next is commercial unit of energy. Is it in syllabus for this year? Commercial unit of energy. It is, it is not in the volume, but it is in the syllabus. It's, it's it's there in the textbook. It is there in the textbook, but just check if it is there for exam. Uh, commercial unit of energy. Well, it is given in volume as well as textbook. I'm saying whether it is there for this year's syllabus. Go check it. Okay? But I'm anyway going to teach it. Commercial unit of electrical energy. You can just say energy also. Right? So commercial unit of electrical energy. It is called kilowatt hour. Now see, what is energy? Energy is equal to power into time. So this is kilowatt is power and this is time. So power into time has to be energy, okay? So what is one kilowatt hour? One kWh is equal to 1000 watt. And how much is hour? 2600 seconds. So this will be 3600,000. 36 lakh joule. Right. So this is the relation between kilowatt hour and joule. One kilo. We understood? We call this as one unit. So one kWh is also called as one unit of energy consumed. So our electricity ka bill kisme aata hai? Unit me aata hai. So that unit is nothing but how many kWh you have consumed. Okay. And the billing is the rate is for one unit. Divide that by the unit, you'll get cost of one unit. Is it clear? Now, one more thing about power. There is something called as average power. What is average power now? So it is the total, so suppose you are, see, like, even if he is a boy or a girl, right? So if he is working for eight hours, right? So in all hours, he will not work with same efficiency. He will get tired, right? So he will not be able to same amount of work in the same interval of time. So when we take the average over eight hours, that is average power. So it is given as total work done or total energy consumed, right? Total work or energy, anything. 
डिवाइड बाय टोटल टाइम टेकन टोटल टाइम राइट लाइक इन वन आवर ही डेड टेन जूल्स पर सेकंड नेक्स्ट ही डेड ट्वेंटी जूल्स पर सेकंड बट देन ही डेड फाइव जूल्स पर सेकंड लाइक दैट सो ही टोटल ऑल द वर्क एंड ऑल द टाइम इंटरवल दैट विल गिव एवरेज पावर सो अगेन द यूनिट विल बी वॉट ऑफ इज इट क्लियर सो सो देर आर बिगर यूनिट्स लाइक किलो वैट विच इज थाउजेंड वैट then you have a horse power what is horse power 746 watt there are some machines whose powers are still given as horse power okay like automobiles and all so one horse power is 746 watt that's it so this is all i wanted to tell you about power now we'll do the numericals so if anybody has any question in this chapter Can ask me that, or else we can go for the numericals. So this is a very very important chapter. So let's start the numericals. Can I erase the left side of the board? Online students, yeah? Yes. Can I erase? Okay. So I'll start with uh, the verticals in NCR table. Let's say example eleven point seven NCR. This is on page one fifty five. Okay, so. Shall I read the question? So two girls, each of weight four hundred newton, right? So let's name the girls as A and B. So what is their weight? Both are weighing four hundred newton, right? Then uh, they climb height. So. I climb. So girl A climbs eight meter, and B climbs how much? Both eight meter. Now time taken. So time taken to climb. Time to climb. So A takes twenty second. B takes fifty second. Okay. So this is the given data. So what we have to find? What is the power spent by A square? So power by A and power by B we have to find. Okay. So so power. Let's call this as P A equal to what? This is P B. Let's solve. So what is work done by uh, power by A? So work done by A divided by time spent by A. So what is work done formula? Uh, is force into Displacement, right? Yes. Upon time. 
Now force is nothing but weight only. Weight is force. Okay. So this is weight or force. Weight itself is force. So this is 400 newton. Displacement is a. Time spent is very good. Four four yeah. So this is 160 joules per second or watt. Okay, then let's write what? It's power, right? What? So P is equal to 169. Similarly, PV is four hundred into A fifty. Five words of or sixty four. Right? So girl B is less powerful than girl A. Let's look at the next example. So let's start the next question. <clears throat> so in the next question, we have a boy of mass 50 kg. A boy of mass 50 kg. He runs up a staircase of 45 steps. So 45 steps. Climbs 45 steps in 9 seconds. Climbs up or runs or climbs, runs. Up uh, 45 steps. In and P is equal to 5 seconds, 9 seconds. If the height of each step is 15 centimeters, so height of step, each step to 15 centimeters, find power. So power is, right? I have to take. A G equal to ten meter per second. This is good. So I understood the question. So there's a boy who is climbing forty-five steps. Right? Let's say this is step number one. This is step number forty-five. So end of this step, you will use, you will reach a height h. Is the height? 
What is the height of one step? 15 centimeter. One step is 15 centimeter, which is 0 0.15 meter. So total height is how much? 45 to 0 0.15. This many meter. Okay. Now, boy is carrying his own weight only, right? So he is, he is running up. So he is carrying his own weight only. So what is boy's weight? Mg. So work done by boy. By boy. In running over steps. Steps. So what is the work done? Force. So this weight into displacement, right? Only work done. So W. This is equal to weight is mg. So this is what k. Okay, so that is 45 to 0.15. Right? So this is the work done. So W is equal to this. Therefore, power is equal to power spent. Is equal to W Y. What is the rule? 500 into 45 to 0.15 on how much time? 9 seconds. Okay, so 9 times up. 500 into 15 times up. 0 0.75, right? This is the most time. This is the power spent. So this is how in some question work will be given directly. In some question, you have to find work and then take the ratio. Okay. So this is all this. This is our lecture number four or five. Four. Anybody is keeping a track of it? No. Take it. I take it as four. Okay. So we'll now be discussing the in-text question on page one the physics. So I think uh, these are all theory questions, except one or two. Right, text question. One of the things. 
Question one says, what is power? Yes, or rate at which work is done. Both ways, both are correct. Okay. So we already know. The second question is define one watt of power. Raise your hands. Now you have to define in English. What you said is right. So what is one watt of power is equal to what? How do we define? So one watt is equal to ah, so this is one joule upon one second is mathematics. What is English? The power spent is said to be one word when one joule of energy is spent in one second by agency or machine, anyone who is doing the work, okay. Agency or machine. Agency means could be human or anybody, right? The one who is doing the work. So the power spent by that agency is said to be one that, right? One joule, so not one. O N. One joule of work is done. By it in one second. So those who thought mathematics is difficult, rethink. Mathematics makes life simple, short and sweet. It is the English <laughs> which is the problem. Okay. So the Layout is learn mathematics and translate in English. That is it. Oh. Agency, agency. Dyslexic, dyslexic child. Uh, agency. I didn't agency, right? Agency. Agency. So I'm a dyslexic. Which means I'm a genius. That was question number two. Second question. Third question. Very simple. I mean, nothing, right? So it's a so land consumes. Thousand joule, right? Of energy in ten seconds. What is the power? The so power is equal to thousand upon ten. What is hundred? Fourth question. Define average power. Average power. English. In ten minutes, total total. Yes. Yes, correct. Rate at which total work is done, which means it is the ratio of total work done to total time taken. That's it. That's So, average power is ratio of total 
total energy spent spent to total time saving. Whether it is same, whether it is average or not, just for okay. So we did all this. This, 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 you are saying or that? Yeah, okay. So, we may answer up to the A to T over. A jagged run, a dead side, this side. So I'll write it. So one more question from XRT, then we'll do question from module one. Shall I start? Okay. Example eleven point nine. So an electric bulb of sixty watt. So what is given? P is equal to sixty watt. It is used for six hour per day per day. Calculate the units of energy consumed in one day by the bulb. So energy consumed per day. That is E. You to find E. What is the solution? Add into uh, so E is equal to E by T. We know this. Therefore, E is equal to T into T. Right? What is power? 60. Into 6 hours, right? So 6 into 3600. Okay. So, this we can write as so you have to always use the SI unit into 3600. So, second. So, six is a uh, Thirty sixty into thirty six hundred. Right? Yes. So how much is that you said? Thirty one thousand six hundred. Yeah, yes. Okay, let's keep the zero separate. Thirty six into thirty six into one thousand, right? Now do this. Two one nine six. So thirty plus six. How much is this? So this is zero. This is a rating one. One zero eight one plus six is a one twenty six is a eighteen. How much is this? That's not both solution that that will be correct. This is all this. So these many joules. Yes, twelve lakh ninety-six thousand joules. Hmm? Big, big answer. Okay, so we have to uh, we have to calculate how many units, right? So this is the total energy. We have to calculate units. Units when you can legally catch it, 
This has to be converted into kilowatt and this into hours only. So we, this is wrong. Here. This is wrong. Energy. So in units. In units. That is in kWh here. So kWh is what? That divided by 3.6 into. So this is in joule, right? So therefore, E in KWS. Actually, a complicated over direct or something. 36 into 36 into 1000 divided by 3600,000, right? Sub over here because 1 KWH is these many joules. That's why. Yeah, we are in 36 hours. So, yeah, 0.36 units. Okay. Yes, this is correct. Actually, question may we have to calculate energy in units. So, what is one unit? One unit is KWH. Na? So, what is the relation between KWH and Joule? KWH is equal to 3600,000 Joule, right? So, how much is 1 Joule? Therefore, 1 Joule is equal to 1 by 36 KWH. Because we got this 1 Joule. No? So, 1 Joule can be replaced by 1 by this K. So, then you will get the answer in kilowatt hour. We have converted joule to kilowatt hour. Okay. So if you have these many joules, how many kilowatt hour? You have to divide this joule to joule by this figure. Okay. Should I do the same sum again? Simply, this became a little complicated, but you should know this. Therefore, I'll do this sum alternately. So what is the given data? So you just convert this into kilowatt hour. So this will be 60 divided by 1000. 0 0.6 kilowatt. Okay. And hour is 6. Therefore, energy is equal to P into T. So this is 0 0.6 kilowatt into 6 hour. So 0 0.36 kW. Oh okay. yeah. This is simple. Okay, so whether you want to follow this method or this method, both, both are same, but this is lengthy, this is short. So, what to kilowatt may convert the time to hour may render. We have to convert time to second may convert the time to answer. Joule may. We have to convert kilowatt to convert the time to hour may render. They are being written on the just by multiplication. So your both, both are correct. So alternate one, alternately. Yes, it can divide it by the problem if you want to. Ah, zero point zero six. Correct. 0 0.06. Yes. Right. So, because I knew the answer, I directly wrote the answer. It will be 0 0.06. And here I put it point of this. So, I got the answer. I'm cheating. Okay. So, uh, should this be alternate method or that should be alternate? Yeah. This should be alternate. So given a choice. So read the question carefully. I mean, you should actually follow this first. Okay. This is more than So with this, we are, we are through with NCRT questions. So there are questions at the back of the, the chapter. Okay, you should try this. I will not take a classwork exercise of volume. Okay. 
So I'll do the numericals first. So can we move on to uh, classwork numericals from volume, which is on page number 62? Huh? So let's do that. Some of these questions may be common. I mean, some of them, some of these questions we might have already done. So you just tell me if we have done all right. Okay. What is this? Is this your test performance or physics test? Nine CBSC, Kharga. Rahi, who is Rahi? Then we have Rohan. Rohan, okay. Then uh, Adya, okay. We have Juhan. Juhan, online. Who is Juhan? Who is Dia? Okay. What is the passing per, uh, this thing? Passing percentage? Passing, like what is the minimum mark you have to get to be called that you have passed the exam? 80% or 50%? What is it? That's in board. In UT, we follow a little high cutoff. Okay, not bad. Online. Sanmitra. Sanmitra, okay. Then we have Vivan. Okay. I can see you. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay, and then uh, Priyanshi. Priyanshi is present. We have, we have uh, Sanika. Avni, absent. And Sarvesh. Okay. Tavish. Tavish is there. Then Sarthak. <laughs> These are your marks that you have got in science. Okay. So it's not only for physics, it's for science. Whole science, of course. You don't have separate physics test, right? Yeah. yeah. You do have separate physics test? Yeah. Okay. okay. Then I don't know whether it is for physics or because it's mentioned science. So maybe it's your total uh, okay. science. Okay. What's your name? Huh? So you are yet to write any test? Means <laughs> Abhitak test nahi likha hao. Thik. Aryan? Aryan is not online. Anshul? We have Anshul? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thik. Okay. okay. Let's do... Uh, Classwork numericals from UT1. So everybody, so what we will do is we'll take turn, okay, in reading, right? So we play a snake game. So we'll start from the mouth of the snake, this is the tail, okay? Sometimes I change the order. I start from tail and come to the mouth, okay? Okay, you shall. So, chalo, you start. Question one. A force of nine nine million acts on an object and produces eight fifty. Page sixty two. Beauty volume. Classwork numerical. Classwork numerical, not exercise. Uh, yeah, go ahead. A force of nine million acts on an object and produces a displacement of seven meter in the direction of force. What is the problem? Yes. No, no, you do it. Everybody do it. So. The 
one who reads, okay, I'll interact with him. Everybody else do it, right? And then we'll discuss it also. So what is the work done? Work done is? Okay, goes. Formula again, goes into displacement, right? Goes into displacement. Okay, so what is the force given in the question? Nine. Nine Newton. And what is the displacement given? Seven. Seven. So therefore, work is equal to? 63 Newton meter of this vector is Newton. Then last. was a simple question. So here the force and displacement are in the same direction. Okay, Both are in the same direction. Like if this is the object, force is in this direction, displacement is also in the same direction. Your turn. A force of 26 Newton does a lot of working to do on an object. Find the displacement along the direction of force. So, what is displacement? So, in symbols, I would write F into S. Right? What is the displacement? So, since work is equal to force into displacement, therefore S is equal to work upon force. So what is the work now? It's working. Uh, 14 to 14 divided by 26. 1.2, right? Yes, 0.5. 0.5. So anybody who has difficulty can ask me. <coughs> so your turn. No, no, our turn. Our turn. Yeah, following this, huh? This is the sequence. Like so be ready as for the sequence, okay? Four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A body of mass 0 0.5 kg moves on a friction, frictionless surface with a uniform velocity of 5 feet of a second. Is the body doing some work explain? Yeah. So what is work? Work is equal to force into displacement, right? So from the given question, a body of mass 0 0.5 kg moves on a frictionless surface with a uniform velocity. So, is there any force acting on it? Hmm? Gravitational force, but is there any is there any displacement in that direction? Body is let us say moving in this direction. Right? And it is moving in this surface, it has no friction, no frictional force, no frictional force, and it is moving with uniform velocity. Uniform velocity means acceleration is zero, that is acceleration zero. What does this mean? Force is equal to zero. So, in the direction of motion, there is no force because acceleration is zero. And there is no uh, frictional force opposing this motion. So there is no force only acting on this body. So work done is zero. Right? So if force is zero, zero, work done is zero. Right? So what is the, uh, what was the question? Is the body doing some work? Answer is no, because there is no force acting on the body. Sir, can you just write? No. 
work is done by body. Sense no forces acting on the body. As there is no friction, no friction motion, and since body is traveling. With uniform velocity. Hence, acceleration is zero. That is, no external force. Right? Because I've told you, all motions are due to external force, right? So, unless and if the external force is acting on a body, then it should have some acceleration because force is equal to mass into acceleration. But here, its velocity is not changing. It is constant. When will V is constant? When it is a non-accelerated motion. Right now, because V is equal to U plus AT. Only when there is acceleration, then this initial speed will change. Whatever is the velocity, it is constant. Only. Got it? Yes. So both the forces are zero. Neither the frictional force is doing any work because it is given in the question. Nor there is any external force. Just the body was pushed once to set it in motion. After that, the body is moving. Okay? But there is no force acting on. No, no work done. Meaning, this body will keep on traveling because there is nobody to stop it from external force. Can you think of any situation? On ice, right? Ice, ice. ice. Very minimal frictional force or almost no force. Or in space, if the body is in motion, it will continue to be in motion. Right? There has to be somebody to stop the motion. Okay. All right. Who's turn next? Yeah. So if acceleration is zero, force has to be zero, no? Because force is mass into acceleration. So hope you know that, right? <laughs> So, if force is acting, its acceleration should be non zero, but your acceleration is zero. So, yes. How do we do it? Work done is force into displacement. What is the force? Force is mass is given mg mass into gravity, right? Okay. And displacement is h. So mass is 30 kg, gravity is 9.8. 
it is seven. Okay. How much it is? So this is three into ninety-eight. Three seven zero twenty-one into ninety-eight. How much it is? Zero five point two. Two zero. Two zero five eight. Point thousand. Point thousand. Point thousand. Point thousand. Point thousand. Point thousand. Point Your turn. First, write the uh, solution then. How much work is the person who So F is directly given in Newton in this case. It is how much more? Right. That is how much? Twenty-two. Joule's name, Joule, singular, huh? because it is unit. If we word in the word, Joule's will be written. When we are writing in word, then Joule's. Right. Okay. We have time for one more question. One or two we can. Question six. Who's done? Uh, Calculate yeah. the power. Uh, Calculate the power of a pump which takes 20 seconds to raise 120 kg of 120 kg water to a tank at the height of 20 meters. Right. So, so uh, pump. Doubt in? Yeah. Question five. Yeah. How much work is done? Okay. Ready. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's against the gravity only. Right. No, who is doing the work? Person is applying force upward. Where is he going? That's okay. Work done by gravity is negative, not by the person. So, whatever force, you got it? There are, so you have to look at it like who is doing the work. Is it gravity or the person? Person is doing the work. Then it is possible. How much work does the person do? That is positive. If the question was how much work is done by gravity, then it is negative. I mean, is it clear or? Yes. Okay. Next, question six. Calculate the power of a pump which takes 20 seconds to raise 120 kg water to a tank. Ah, so, what is it? This is work upon tank, right? How much is this? Work is. MGH in this case, right? Because mass is given. When mass is given, you have to do MGH upon time. So, what is the mass? 120 kg. G is 9.8. Height is 1, right? No, height is 
Thirty seconds. And time is twenty seconds. So this is six. So six plus a eighteen. So ninety-eight into eighteen. Is that how many thousand? Is many what? Which is ninety eight into eighty? One seven four. One seven six four. That's one seven six four. One seven six four. So this is what? Oh. What? One seven six four below. Whatever. Okay. So generally, uh, power of pump or motor is written as kilowatt. Okay. Can quickly take one more question. Who's turn? Her turn. You missed turn. Seventh order, little problem. Seventh order. Right. Kinetic energy. Kinetic energy will be same as potential energy of hammer, right? Because when the hammer was lifted one meter up, whatever energy it has, the same energy will convert into kinetic, right? Right. So in this case, question seven. So it will be kg. So what is the mass of the hammer? One kg. Gravity you have to take is ten. By how much height it was lifted? One. So this will be ten. Conservation of energy, right? So I lifted the hammer one kg. Ka one meter would have a gravity is ten. So this will be how much energy? Mgs. That mgs becomes kinetic energy when it comes down. So you are not convinced? Convinced, right? So give me that feeling. If you if you look at me with suspicion, then I'll be uncomfortable. Huh? Everybody convinced? Okay. Take it. So this was based on conservation of energy. Am I supposed to give you this, or have to take it? Do they give you this? No. All right. Let's see this. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not